You guys, get this. We're at the hottest place ever recorded in the entire world. Best part is, it's at the sea. Let's go for a dip. Oh, it's at sea level. The elevation is sea level. <laughs> Should have read the rest of the... Huh. Ever since I was a kid, all I wanted to be was an explorer. Sail the seven seas, find new worlds. But Uncle D, everything's already been found. What? Like everything? Well, yeah. Oh, man. Well, so much for that. But if I can't be an explorer, I can still be an adventurer. So I bought a motorhome and I'm hitting the open road. My name is Dustin Porter and this is Destination Adventure. Living these last couple weeks in the desert has been an adjustment for sure, like anywhere new, but particularly here in the valley of the Inyo Mountains. This place is beautiful, it's diverse and rugged, it has history, but it can be harsh and unpredictable. Last night I was staying at this amazing hot spring out in the desert, had it all to myself, then 11 o'clock at night, I experienced my first sandstorm. I tried to film it a little bit, but honestly, I had to just get out of there. And I'm happy that we got out when we did because we got out almost completely damage free. When I first hit the road, I couldn't see the boat in my driver's side mirror, and I can always see it in that mirror. Well, I didn't realize the wind was blowing so strong the boat was actually tracking off to the side behind the motorhome. So I stopped to take a look and as soon as I opened the door, the wind grabbed it, ripped it out of my hands all the way forwards. It bent the mirror and it opened with so much force it actually bent the door jam. Those were both relatively easy fixes. And other than that, the poor motorhome did get a little bit sandblasted, but the windshield still looks good. Everything else is good. And this old girl, she's not afraid of a couple blemishes. So we got it really lucky, but it was definitely a reminder that I need to continue heading south. But I don't want to take the same route out that we took in. We took Highway 395 right here. Beautiful route, absolutely, but I'd rather not double back. I see this Highway 190 right here. That actually takes us right into Death Valley Park. I don't want to go all the way over into Nevada. But if we go to Highway 127 at Death Valley Junction, follow that down, we can take that to Baker, and then back to Barstow, pretty much where we started. It'll add two or three extra days, but we're on no agenda here. It'll be a brand new route for me and hopefully a new route for you guys. Let's hit the road. I've come to find out here on the road so many men with talent Only few have the soul This road's supposed to be pretty tight and windy, but it doesn't really bother me too much. My face and So far, very beautiful. I wonder if I am alone Maybe I'm no better about halfway down the hill into the actual Death Valley and it's pretty wild. You go from 4,000 feet elevation to almost 300 feet below sea level in one hill. <laughs> so I just stopped to let things cool down for a few minutes and I can see some stuff over here. We're gonna go check it out. I don't know where the water's coming from, but it's still flowing through this pipe. It's a tank right here, but it's not uh, not filling up. Huh. It's all brick. Probably a ranger station or something. Neat little spot though.
Hey, there's another one. Whoa, look at this. This was all a screen covered little patio. What a beautiful spot. Fancy schmancy. <laughs> the H must be for Hacienda since we're almost in Mexico. <laughs> Definitely a worthwhile stop. Let's get to the bottom of this hill. And maybe I'm no different than the ones who are running all of this. Well, I'm just searching for a peace of mind. And I'm just a traveler passing through for time. Yeah. You guys believe that? We spent the last 20 minutes coming down that last hill just so we could climb this one. <laughs> Life. I don't think I'd like to do this in the summertime. The old 454 is getting a little spicy in there. My fan will kick on soon though. It's no biggie. The scenery of this route is unbelievable definitely worth it but if you're thinking about taking this route make sure your rig can handle it major elevation change up and down we just climbed back over 4,000 and still going up so pretty big haul up here just shy of 5,000 feet here but we have officially summited now I think we're about to head back down <laughs> I'm just a traveler passing through for time. Just got here to Stovepipe Wells. Beautiful area, but you have to buy a pass to come in here, which isn't the end of the world. It's only 25 bucks, and I'm sure that money goes to a good cause, but there's no one here to help. The ranger stations where you buy the pass, there's no rangers there and I need to find somewhere to camp, somewhere close by. I did get water though, which is kind of cool. It's probably like legitimate desert water or something. I don't know. Let's find somewhere to camp. Here in the park, you can't really camp anywhere for free. There is dry camping, but you have to buy a pass for a site. So we're gonna go check it out. Cost me 14 bucks, taking up two spots. It's not even close to level, but I like it. 99% of the time, I'm boondocking, so it's pretty neat being in a campground for a change. Seeing some other folks doing motorhome life, but they don't seem to venture very far from camp. This is the world famous Death Valley. I kind of think there might be some stuff worth seeing out there. Let's go find it. I woke up in the middle of the night, oh my, said my, oh my. When we were in Florence out on the dunes, it must have been the rainfall because that sand we couldn't get anywhere. Today, here, this is freaking awesome. See those dunes way off in the distance? Let's see if we can get over there. We made it. Look at this sand is just amazing out here. The bike's doing great. I can see some people up there. That looks like the highest point. <laughs> Better go bag that peak. <laughs> up along this ridge right here, the sand gets super soft. So we're abandoning the plan to bag that peak. We're gonna bag this gully. Dang it. 
Riding out here in these shrubs is so much fun. It's like its own, it's like an earth course. And if you don't want to, you never have to ride the same tracks twice. Just slalom back and forth and jumps and obstacles all over the place. But you can only turn so hard on this sand and then it'll slide out on you. That's what happened here, but perfect time and we're almost at a battery. So let's whip her back to the moho. Here we go. <sighs> <laughs> well, all my dreams are sweet When I lay down to sleep When I dream <laughs> Well, don't give me no fuss Don't give me no fight It's only one thing in the middle of the night I need And that's dreaming of you Well, all my dreams are sweet When I lay me down to sleep When I dream Most people don't stop and appreciate this, but Stovepipe Wells was once the only water source along the Cross Valley Road, a safe haven for the old time travelers. I filled my tank and my jugs with some nice healthy spring water, then I'm off to the next spot. There it is, Badwater Basin, the lowest point in all of North America, 282 feet below sea level. Pressure's just crippling. Bit out of the way and we can't actually stop in the parking lot because the motorhome's too big. So a little walk you can do out there, but so beautiful here, unbelievable. There's one more spot that I still want to see. Let's hit it. The other adventure that I had planned today is going to have to wait until tomorrow. I ran into a little bit of mechanical issues with the motorhome. I'm not going to dive into it unless it turns into an actual thing. So far, not a big deal. I'm just going to cross my fingers and hope it stays that way. So we're not going to have time to dive into that one today. I'll stay another day in the park so I can fit it in tomorrow. We have enough time before the sun goes down to fit in one attraction here. It's kind of an, a, a tourist attraction, I'm guessing, because the parking lot is full of people, but it's called the Golden Canyon. Let's check it out. We have definitely less than 20 minutes of sunlight, so we're not gonna get to summit any of these things, but. Okay, tourist trap or not, this place is freaking amazing. Wow. get as far as I can before the sun goes down. But I found a side trail. This is a way better trail. Freaking awesome. Brought this camera today that doesn't have a strap. Now I have this climb to do. 
Might leave the camera here. Frick. Hiding my camera right there. We're gonna get up this, take a quick look, and then head back down. Sun's almost down. This place is unbelievable. Oh, my heart's pounding like crazy. This is as far as we can get. The GoPro will compensate to a certain extent trying to light this up, but we're almost at a light here. And my poor camera's still down there, hidden in the worst hiding spot. <laughs> Let's head back down. Look at that traction. <laughs> here we go. Oh. oh my god, I did not enjoy that one bit. <laughs> Good news. Got the camera. We made it. Tomorrow, brand new day, brand new adventure. Our last adventure in Death Valley is to a place called the Artist's Drive. This is a 14 kilometer, single lane, one direction drive through absolute paradise and an absolute must do here in Death Valley. The only problem is the poor motorhome's not allowed because it's too long. Also, it's way too friggin' quiet around here. get stolen we're at the artist's palette here I think is how it's pronounced this area this stop right here is supposed to be like the pinnacle of the artist's loop not sure why to be entirely honest I think it's just the colors in the sand we're still gonna check it out <laughs> on the way in here. Of course, everyone saw me on the gnarly Davidson because I was stopping to set up cameras. Now everyone's here. They're all wanting to ask about it. That's pretty fun though. Wow, look at those colors. It's amazing. Oh yeah. Do you guys think this white stuff is salt? Oh, <laughs> I was just about to taste this. It's powder. It's total powder. <laughs> Not sure what that is. Not gonna put it in my mouth though. One of the most frequent questions I get is what's my favorite place I've ever been? It's an impossible question because the world's full of amazing places, each for their own reason. But I will tell you, my body does a lot better in a climate that is not so hot and dry. Let's get out of here. Later, suckers!
That's what life's all about right there. 50 cc's of freedom in the open road. Let's get out of this park. It's hot. The drive up and out of the valley is no less spectacular than the park itself. But let me tell you, Death Valley absolutely amazed me. So I hope you guys enjoyed that too. But most of all, thanks for watching everybody. As always, take nothing but pictures, leave nothing but footprints. I'll catch you on the next one. Mama said what you wanna be when you grow up Doesn't matter that much as long as you're tough Say you wanna be a spaceman playing in a rock band What you waiting on a wristband? Oh, there's nothing to it, you gotta just do it Mama said what you wanna be when you grow up Doesn't matter that much